Hello, my amazing people. I greet you according to your time. If it is your first time and you like what we are doing here, kindly subscribe. Put on your notification bell. To all notifications is very, very important because it will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Here we react to all forms of videos. We educate, we inform the members of the public about what is happening. And to you, YouTube, I appreciate you for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to disseminate information. At the same time, I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not promote violence, we do not promote hate speech, we do not promote misleading information. Rather, we are here to educate, inform the members of the public and also to remind you to that a call for self-determination is never a call for war. Every country in the world have this. Who, who I don't know. Who you don't even know at all. As a soldier, when you are <laughs> present, right? Your presence should be something like... Uh, a calm succor to the exactly people, people should be able to hmm. people should be able to rally behind you and yes. say okay i am safe because of the presence of this person yes. who has taken up this honorable profession to lay down his or her life yes. on my behalf because they believe in this whether it's the constitution or the people or a place right being it's a soldier is an honorable his profession oath, his oath of now, a soldier is to put his life uh, on the line for his country and our people. That's who they are. That's why they exactly. told us to respect them a lot. They pay supreme and, prices and, that a lot of us will not really pay. But when they are exactly. now the ones taking us and we are the one paying the supreme prices because they are killing us. So we should, should we respect so, them as, or fear them. As, Sorry, Jerry, go on. As far as we know, as far as we know, these people did not behave honorable. No. Whatever they were doing in those um, communities were not was not honorable. So therefore, there's no reason for me to feel sorry. I'm sorry. I don't don't feel because I know for a fact that they did not go there to do anything honorable. They did there to do, they went there to do something dishonorable to dishonor even that profession. So women, see, women, children, pregnant <coughs> women were slaughtered. I can't show you the pictures. Honestly, you need I don't, to see some you know, of them. No. Honestly, I, I can't even. They, they said, you know, that we, that there were children who were there when on they the about the bush. Fire. See, people were on the side you of know? the bush. You see, children, you see kids, right? Leg like that. The head is in the bush where they are running away. I swear, I saw some of them. I was like, why are the Nigerian media not actually really showing this? <laughs> why are they what? trying to I, convince I'm, all of us that they needed to kill civilian and burn down the villages because uh, 16 soldiers died? They're not even telling because us how they died. <laughs> They don't even telling us how they died, and 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 I suspect I could be entirely wrong, but I suspect that those those soldiers still died at the hands of their own soldiers. Do you know they did not die. They already said that, that they they were killed as a cover up for something, and then they burned down the yes. community where there'll the, be no evidence to see. Where there'll be no evidence of what it was uh, of how they were killed, because in a sane country, in a sane society, hmm. those bodies will be recovered. Those bullets that were shot into those human beings will be recovered, and then you can compare to the to the bullets that were shot by your own people to find out whether or not they match. But they're not going to do this. They won't. They're not going to do this because that is the evidence against them. I personally believe that those soldiers were killed by their own people, and the manner in which they were killed, were killed by is the manner in which the Fulani people kill people without because you know human beings don't mean anything to them; they just slaughter. So that community did not. I I personally feel well, again I could be wrong, they but I personally feel that they were the, killed. See, they did not show any sign that they have such <laughs> weaponry to confront. They have such weaponry. The, 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 delegate, that they can... the delegation of Nigerian army who came in two fighter boats, fighter boats. They came on two boats to that community. Now they are they had no chance of doing that. So why are they killing people in Bayelsa? By the way, if if the if the uh, Okwama the people. Is, Kill those uh, soldiers, right? Eh? Yeah, so why are you going game? all the way to... Why, why did they go to Bayelsa and kill 11 innocent people on the street again? Looking for the leader of those who killed the soldiers in Delta. They, 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 they're just telling stories. They're trying to come up with all kinds of things to make it stick. And for people to empathize, oh, they killed the soldiers. No, I, I, I think you people killed your own soldiers to protect yourselves from the, from the mess that you've done. Whatever right to give yourself a cover story, right, so that you can justify the actions that are still, you know, hmm. against humanity. As far as I'm concerned, you don't kill innocent, you don't kill innocent people because you are trying to, you, you are retaliating against. Like you uh, said, Nigeria is the only country that their soldiers kill Nigerians, 
and they feel justified to do so it's crazy eh? and this is why it's saying that nigeria is not a real place hmm. it's not a real country because no country you know the, the life of an american the american blood eh? is so precious you don't kill people like that hmm. right and that is why they continue to value their own people over us because they look at us don't don't think that you know the western world or the international you know world don't see what we are doing to ourselves they do that's another surprising you know? thing about nigerians <laughs> don't let us wash our debt in there in public like are we are we are we in uh, 1820 well, by the way eh in this uh, time that uh, ordinary click pa you don't go millions don't see them let's say exactly say, you are still here millions, talking about I mean, don't let us watch our the name public the world knows nigeria except nigerians <laughs> the 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 international community sees how we treat ourselves they do and we expect we we, we want to demand respect respect when we don't respect ourselves when we kill our own people we treat ourselves less and we want people to treat us with some kind of dignity where we don't dignify our own selves it makes absolutely no yeah, sense damn, right deep, and again <coughs> no that that, and one then, cut, that one cut deep uh charm we treat us with so truth? much disrespect impunity we, we and, treat ourselves. and the world sees it but we want the world to respect us how but you want the world to respect you how when you don't treat yourself with any kind of have you ever walked into the nigerian embassy and see how we treat each other there they see it they do they see how we treat each other and you expect them to treat you with any kind of dignity how and they do see us when we justify those kind of uh, maltreatment against ourselves from those who are supposed to keep us safe then they see how we kind of justify it because we have the mob of lunatics that justify such a uh, maltreatment absolutely you know you know total you know crazy lunatics and again i still point this needs to break up it has to but it has to break up so that people can whether it's just for sanity sake for just you know so that we can just stop hearing this kind of craziness you know now the other point i want to touch on is the the patriots of listen nobody should take those people call themselves the patriots <laughs> can you even imagine that see the mockery nobody eh? nobody should take those people seriously I, the reason why i say this is because nigerian politicians especially the ones that who have not been in the limelight for a while have this you know penchant for rebranding themselves and putting themselves out there again this is like oh trying to signal to the people who are currently in power i'm still here you know i still you know i'm still here i'm still available for you know I'm XYZ, on whatever. now forget the time that i was on that side and i made sure that what oh, you're asking for we make sure that it's impossible but now i am seeing like you now i think what you I'm said you should do now let's I'm, let's I'm, try I'm, something new i said ah, come on no cut off here. This are the, this, no 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 one should take these people seriously Hmm. the people the one that you talked about i think the, he was former governor of a kitty state that stole <laughs> i don't know how many Arebe, is he is uh, Arebe Mugbana Baba Kabiru. by the way eh, according to the record he stole more than uh, 100 billion but he's not standing trial for corruption you know them now the this BAPC, is, this is, this is, uh, however uh, he left his own state with the debt of over 300 billion naira it not be only that too eh? he ensured that uh, those in ocean states he normalized half salary. Or more, you need to see or show people explaining half salary to you. Baba, I was like, no, no, oh, for me, really, 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 I have never seen unboot slave and voluntary slaves like this in my life. Oh, they were telling me no, I had no, no, I don't understand. Modulated salary. Have you heard that before? Modulated. <laughs> This is just, gave it just a name. crazy. Now, the guy is talking about production, <laughs> he's talking about investing in this or that. He never did any of that in eight years. Ever. This is it. But uh, my God, doesn't that even make you scared that the, the the depth of the problem that we have in Nigeria, we still haven't touched the surface of it? Because if somebody who has been deprived is telling you that no, you don't understand what they are doing, that what they are doing is in their own best interest. Yeah. Meanwhile, they are depriving you, uh -huh. they are denying you, uh -huh. and you are still saying that your own best interest. Go then we have a problem. You. Then up, you know up, something is not registered. Yeah, now they will you know? gather. They will gather together and beat you if you insist that that's so wrong. How can they be paying you half salary? I say, what is your problem? What is your problem? What's your problem? Are you the one they are paying but, but our salary? We are doing all of this for our state. Arab Bashala has taken our state to the greatest height. I have never seen that Tom Fury in my life before. Great, but I witnessed the greatest it. height. Do they I have do they have uh, what they call it as uh, fully fully uh, equipped schools? Do they have fully equipped hospitals? You, do they have, you, have the, no you know uh, uh, all those no matter infrastructure, yeah. world class infrastructure? No, 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 no that one doesn't really matter. It's here. All those uh, beautiful <laughs> schools did their head. All those uh, beautiful hospitals, well-equipped, on good roads, 
in their head. Aregbe Mugu Baba Kabiru was building, you know, it will construct, let's say, five kilometer road, all right? And it'll be like a three lane. And those are the first time they are seeing, I'm, I'm sorry, or ocean people, you know what I'm saying, you know? So you'll be like, that's yeah. the first time they saw any road with three lanes. So they gave it to but that's to tell you now that's you know, to tell, tell you the level of the, uh, uh, deprivation you know the that has gone on in that, those communities for you them know, to feel know, that you know, those kind of things and now you, is, know, you know, know that that's what they deserve i tell but you that's to tell you my that they, the problem that in in order to connect these people to understand that they have been deprived and denied and they, they actually deserve more than what it is that they're giving the 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 task at hand is actually a it's big massive. one it is huge it's a massive one you know but but having said that, let's not be, um, how I put it, the, you know, let us not be taken. No, no, no. Let us not be taken by these so-called patriots of Nigeria who are now asking for, um, what do you call it? Uh, exactly. Referendums and, 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 and the about referendum, new constitution. So those are, that, like you said, those are chances. Yeah. Those are chances. They are not there to do anything. They're just there to signal to the people of power that I'm still here. Yes. I'm still alive. You can still use me for something. You know, because before you know it, they say, come, let's, what are you guys talking about? Let's form a committee on this and yeah. that. How much will that committee cost? Another trillions of naira will go down the drain. Mm -hmm. So no one should take those people seriously. I tell you. Now, with regards to uh, Peter Obi, right. you see, one thing I will always appreciate about Peter Obi is his, you know, his, he has his own beliefs. And like I said at the start of my talk is that everyone is entitled to their own ideology, their own beliefs, and their own philosophies. It, might, it may not align with yours, but guess what? He's entitled to his. And there's something someone said one time, if you stand for nothing, what will you fall for? You this is what he stands on. But you, exactly, you will fall for nothing. This is what he stands for. This is what he believes. And he's entitled, because he believes, it does not mean that Biafra will not come tomorrow. If Biafra comes tomorrow, he becomes a Biafra man, and he wants to set his Biafra um, nation. He's at the end the of the day, but that's going to make it impossible to call. He's not the one exactly. Oh. He's not the one that is going to stop Biafra from happening. He's not the one that is going to stop Odudua from happening. No. He has his own ideologies. He has his own beliefs. He's entitled to it. I'm entitled to mine. But that doesn't but stop. The most and important is, thing is that uh, he's doing something right, and their effort something. can actually not only because their effort the last time has caused an irreparable damage to the Nigerian system. Look at it today. They they expect people to move on, but look at it today. Tinumbu is battling with illegitimacy. You know that simply because Absolutely. of that shot on that system, the system is yet to recover from it. Now, if you have people who are group or individuals who are doing everything in their own small way to further decimate the establishment that has kept us so impoverished, divided, and terrorized, right? I don't think we should mm -hmm. be fighting ourselves that you are not doing it right. You should exactly. be exactly exactly. We shouldn't be, and you know what? You have to live and let live. But the, the truth of the matter is that what I am doing, what he is doing, it's not going to stop. Biafra is going to happen. It, will see it is going to happen. Yes. Oh, your Yoruba nation is still going to happen. Whether we like it or not, it, not it, even it just cannot... president will it, prevent it from happening. Nobody exactly. can really stop that. It's Nobody just a can of stop time. it from happening. Uh -huh. You know, it, exactly. It's just a matter of time. It is inevitable. Okay. Everything that is going on. And let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You see this Timbo's presidency, I keep saying it's the gift that keeps on giving. Because even if a country, even if somebody wants to turn around this country, yeah. they know exactly where the pressure points and the pain points are mm -hmm. and what they need to do. Mm -hmm. First of all, we don't have an army. Mm -hmm. So if a new president is coming, you expect that they ask everybody to go. First of all, retire all the service chiefs. Retire everyone in the military because they're not helping you. Yeah. And then start a proper recruitment drive. You understand for people with with you know with like equal the representation about. where everybody is there but all of this is exactly. what we are where, saying that where everybody is we need to have that so, conversation you see the journey exactly. to us see champ you know what it's i told people right so, uh, champ, champ you know what i told yeah. people i said even if we fight war to break up right before the no matter how many how many years we fight that war the whole thing is still going to end up on the negotiation table and say, okay, now we don't, we don't oh, kill ourselves tired now. Okay, oh yeah, wait. How many of us remained? Oh yeah, you take it from that place. Now your land be that. Oh yeah, go take your country. Uh, you, oh yeah. All of now we remain for this. Uh, now, now we remain be this. Oh yeah, you take that side. Eh? Now, your, now your country be that. Yeah, take they go. I said everything will still end up on the negotiation table. So why yeah, I mean, not your you know, jaw what, what always... and not war war? But our people who love war war, they want action, action, action. It will still all end up in the well, negotiation table, uh, charm. Eventually, that's why we're asking them to let us do that peacefully now. 
Let's discuss this contraption now. Let's join oh, you know, now no, no, no. before we war. Gonna, war. It's almost it almost seems as if you know there will be and and I hate to say it because you know this is something I've always fought against even from the you know to, since joining this platform is that loss of innocent lives because I feel yeah. like in loss of innocent blood is just is heartbreaking. Do you understand? It's just unnecessary. But it almost seems as if it's inevitable that these things are going to happen. Unfortunately, that you know, like like even the 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 if your people can wake up one morning and say, you know what, if it's this oil that they're probably, they'll blow up all the pipelines, you know, what are you going to do? How many of them do you want to fight? You will kill some, but you all of you will die because that is their land. You know, you know, they say, okay, we want to, we want to um, uh, defend our territory. This is our ancestral home. D blow up everything. Okay, well, you only well, send well, people there. Well, exactly. Everything just pops up. It starts to pop off, you know, oh, and everything. Champ, but, you know, you. let me, let me let other people call you. <laughs> You know, uh, you and I should be producing soon, okay? I mean, like, it should be something. I'm looking for, I'm looking stuff. forward to it. I'm looking I know, forward you are becoming so good at this now, and I love it. I promise. So thank you so much, Acham, okay? Enjoy the rest, of the, the rest of the day, all right? And then uh, you uh, take it uh, easy. I'm going to, I'm going to try and see if I can, uh, hang on. Okay, yeah. I'm taking my last call, by the way. So if you are that uh, caller, Please uh, put your act together, okay? I want to quickly say something to the brethren because, uh, see, if you are still watching, right? If you joined us mid uh, program, and uh, you can watch this from the start again, the moment we we'll wrap it up, all right? But if you are still here with me, remember you need to like the broadcast to show that you are here. How could we have over two thousand of us and still pretty much uh, finding it hard? Uh, you know, for the brethren to actually like drop their own offering. It's not hard. Okay. Leave the comment section for a moment. Go under this video. You'll see a thumb like that under it is white. Click it and let it turn to blue. Once it turns to blue, go back to the comment section. And we can both listen to this. My last caller. Hello there. Hello, my good general to Colonel Mike. Ah, uh, is that Prince JJ man? My uh, why, why you go take it to me like this? I was thinking, like, this is a busy night, and you are likely not going to get through until I saw some of these veterans getting through. I was like, Prince Jejima is going to sneak in as well. Here you are. You are going to be my last caller tonight. So, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, Baba. How are you? I'm very well, too. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Here we are, Baba. Go on. Yeah, thank you, Baba. Well done. Good work, okay. We appreciate you always. Thank you. Yeah, I want to touch um, uh, yesterday before I come to today's um You want to take a one or the other? Oh, yeah, now. Go for it. Yes. Um, um, it's about uh, this um, Nigerian soldier. I saw them uh, inside the water with a uh, boat. Yes. You know, my ego, you know, there's something that I was asking. Um, I don't, nobody has given me an answer. Is Nigerian Army, are they Navy now? Nah? Are they Navy? Are they doing the work of Navy or Navy doing their work? I don't Which one which department are they? You understand? Praise your German. Yes, Baba. As one of my guys put up, eh? Igboroti propoye. Everything loti propoye. Yes. You get that? Remember that guy? Sinikpe Buroti di Kropoye. Ayy Buroti Propoye. Yes. Sinikpe Buroti di Kropoye. Ayy Buroti Propoye. Yes. Sinikpe Buroti di Kropoye. Nigeria is down for. So, I won't be surprised. Baba? My go Edo, we've been talking about this Nigerian army. You know, that is, I thought yesterday, you know, you dealt deeply into it. Nigeria don't know that they don't have anything called army. No. What they have is a, is a glorified terrorist, terrorist. Hmm. glorified one with a uniform. Unpatriotic elements. And, uh, you know, it's not today that they've been killing and killing and yeah. killing and killing. In fact, in other countries, when the army comes out, they are civilians, they will be happy to come out. See them. But Nigeria, if you see, a, if you see an army, it's like you see a a devil or a demon yeah. coming. The way people are afraid of them, you understand? Because uh, they can just be killing. I, I, my, before my eye, I was it at a cage at death. 
an army man is he okada just because okada was riding beside him on the um, traffic uh, and happened to uh, scratch either he, he match his brake you know as a uh, by uh, uh, mistakenly and then uh, okada man hit him behind this army man just came out and they draw out a pistol and blow the okada man head off ah uh -uh, calm down oh, calm me? down no oh, prince I'm, calm down calm i'm down. telling you no calm down yes it so blow his yeah. head off you mean like use his belt to knock killed his head him. i've been a gun yes killed him with god i'm telling you now this what happened at ikeja is a viral is a viral uh, matter it's not just a uh, hearsay yes you didn't hear me i deal with this you. is the uh -huh. way this, this is the way this is the way they kill nigerians as if nigerians are animal it's only in nigeria you will hear that a soldier will be calling a civilian bloody civilian yeah. and they are so-called generals and major and what are they that seems to that look as if they are educated they are comfortable with all with all that calling a civilian a bloody civilian that means they see people that like they are citizens as people that can be killed at any time that's the meaning of where you have bloody civilian you understand and they do carry out that threat on every day yeah, yeah, every day in nigeria yes. army killed a civilian every day there's no single and all day they have to they do is just make up nigeria. a story okay make up a story if you are a journalist and you decided you want to tell the truth right the military will come for you it is so messed up prince it's so messed up and people's life like you said worth <laughs> nothing my 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 and the worst is that the corruption in that army uh, the corruption there you know because they are army I mean, nobody can ask questions nobody will say anything you see Buratai, Buratai, you know the command they gave and they killed about up to uh, two thousand chai chai just like that and that was buried in the too. nation i know eh? the citizens we are killed up to one thousand in a day all they needed was just fire. to call them shiites that they said they are going to be dangerous than Boko Haram if nothing is done now. And that's it. 1,472 human beings were slaughtered and buried in Nigeria. shallow grave in Kaduna, Zaria. It, All right. My ego, hmm? Nigeria are in a slave camp. They don't know where what is uh, what they are in, the mess that they are in. That is the problem. You know, everybody that is there don't know they are, they are in an open concentration camp. Nigeria is an open concentration. We are people are just moving about. They don't know that they can be killed at any time. Yes. Nobody asks of you. My ego, let me come to yeah, our our help, help me our. So that I can round up as soon as I can. Okay, yeah, you exactly. are the second one for today. Go for it. Um, our leader Mazen Nandekan. I was so happy to see him in him in his own element. Me too. You understand? Did you, did you Today he was arguing with uh, Bintan Yako in the uh, Ah, my ego, I own saw a him. Moment. I have to say to you, like, I'm it's me so facing happy. somebody. I'm... Say, see, it's like me facing somebody. Maybe say, I know, say, one single order, I can tell them to go and kill me or something like that. Like, he has that power there. Uh -huh. And say, look at me very well. I will defeat you in this dear court. I like that one. No? <laughs> I'm keeping the video. It, I'm not even changing it. It's it, still there in my file. It, you know, my ego, there's one, one special thing about him, my Amazon man, the camera. He's a, as you see him, he's a meek person. Yes. But when the spirit, when the spirit of a man, the camera that God put in him comes out, he's another different human being. Yes. You understand? Yes. If he speaks, you know that there's power behind the talking, not just uh, uh mere words no, 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 i'm telling you attention seeking cloud chasing uh you know individual no 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 when he speaks i'm he telling you it. but even me i i, I don't you. know that uh, one of the reasons some of these people sort of uh, dislikes him or hates him is the authority they see in his words and they are wondering how do people obey that how did they, they become jealous most of it because they if are. you ask people we don't like Nam the canon, nobody say they again, they could just mm. say the way they talk. That's the yeah, exactly. problem with yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's, you know, my ego, they are so much afraid of him, hmm. but that will not help them. No, that will not help them because Nam the canon is a special human being, he was sent for this purpose. That's why 
whatever they do, the last, the, the worst mistake they did was to go and kidnap him. In that they left him and they are stealing their money or doing whatever they are doing. After all, is they are they are a sovereign nation. Until the day they will crash themselves because with the, this their terrorism and the, um, and the, uh, what's it called madness, corruption everywhere. You understand? So my ego, what I have to tell them finally is this. If they want, what they are doing is delay. They are delaying themselves. If you hold somebody on the ground, you are, you are, and you are, you want to go to market. If you leave that person, you will be free. Leave. And now, anybody will you don't leave come that say, person, you are not going anywhere. It's okay, fine. We are both not going anywhere. So, hmm. so you see, this shit, this shit that they want, we'll be rubbing it with our, ourselves. We'll be rubbing it together. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. And I'm telling them finally because. None, they can't. If, he, if they want to be kidnapping everybody, if he has seen none, they can't. He's coming out. We are ready to surrender ourselves to kidnapping. We will go there and stay with DSS. Maybe they like to keep people. They will go there and stay with them. But for Biafra issue, it is Biafra. We are ready to die. So the last man standing, we are ready folks, to get our Biafra because Fulani has men. They want to get their Ruga. So with their blood. So we too, we are ready to get our Biafra with our own blood. That's right. You know, it's give and take, vice versa. So if they think that they will do, do tomorrow, because they are holding now, they can, we are going to surrender our Biafra, no. it's not going to work. And their corruption is helping us to get there faster. Thank you, my good general. Prince JJ Man, God bless well you done. So much. Thank you so much as well for stopping by, okay? I have Thank had a few tonight, even though what we expected is not what we got. But in everything, we are still grateful. So many of us are so happy to see him today. Uh, and we are more than happy to hear him speak as well. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for spending your night or your evening with me as usual, okay? Remember that, you know, if you joined us midway, you can watch this from the start. The first one hour of this broadcast covers everything that happened in court today when the court denied Mazi Unamdikanu's bail application and asked his lawyers to reapply for it. The case is adjourned to 17th of April. You're going to see me before then, okay? So, to everyone, you should have a wonderful uh, evening. Thank you so much for sticking to this video to the end. Like I said before, now it's time for us to go to the comment section to air our mind and our opinion. Say what you think about this video and this platform. Do it constructively. Share this video. Like, subscribe, and also continue to watch Linda's TV show because this is the home of news. Until I see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. For now, I would say bye-bye.